Yes and yes, yes and yes and yes. Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome back if you're returning or welcome in if you're new. Just welcome, welcome all, all are, all are welcome here. So as you saw from the title of this video, I am cutting my hair off. Not all of it, but just a lot of it, okay? My hair is very long. I've only given it a few like moderate cuts I would say in the last four years four years ago I cut my hair off short above my shoulders like I'm about to do today so I'm doing it again it is really long so I'm gonna donate it and last time I donated my hair to locks of love but I'm open to new suggestions so if you have any good charities uh, ones that create wigs for children or people who have lost their hair due to illness um, and they give them wigs for free then let me know leave a comment below because um, I'm still it's still up in the air I'm still trying to decide it's, uh, down to almost my butt really can you guys see it's definitely like below my waist this is my like natural waist or whatever so it's like right above my butt down to my waist so super long and I'm gonna be cutting off a lot of it disclaimer before we get into all of this I am not a hairdresser or a professional. I just cut my hair at home and I have confidence doing that. So I'm not telling you to do anything or recommending that you do anything that I do. I'm just doing this for your entertainment. Now, should you decide to do anything that I show you here today that is at your own risk? And if you have confidence, then girl, do it, okay? Like it's hair, it grows back. But you should probably consult a hairdresser. That's probably what I should do, but I don't, I cut my hair. If you saw in the last video, I cut my hair for the last like almost 10 years now. So yeah, I just go for it. Just wanted that to be known before we start, okay? So everything at your own risk. What I'm thinking we're gonna do first is take my hair and split it from the front, like this front section that like goes down to my ear and pull that, because I know this Definitely I will want to be tapered and longer. I like to keep it longer in the front even if it's gonna be a bob just cause it makes it easier for me to pull my hair up when I wanna pull it up or do other things with it. Now we gotta tackle the back. So my original thought and plan was to pull all my hair straight down and then just cut it in the back and maybe section it off into like a couple pieces or something. But I'm afraid it's just too thick because this is still a really thick pony right here, ponytail. So um, what I'm gonna do is actually start with the bottom layer. So I'm gonna take from about my ears and I'm just gonna kind of go up to like a little triangle right here where my thumbs are meeting right here, okay? And then bring it together and pull all of this down, okay? And now I'm gonna get this guy up and out of the way. I will say if you have thinner hair or if you don't wanna bother with all of these steps, um, I'll show you, you can do kind of like what I just said, pull all your hair straight back. So yeah, if you want to do that, that is fine if you think that will work for your hair, but that is not gonna work for my hair because it's just too thick. So I'm trying to get manageable sections, okay? So this, yeah, this is good, I think. Okay, very good. So, starting with this one, getting a ponytail, and I'm going to Pull it all tight at the very base of my head, right here. Okay, I hope this is out of the way so you can see. I'm gonna pull this guy super tight. What I'm gonna do is move this ponytail holder down to about where I want to cut it, okay? Okay, now what I'm gonna do with this one, like what I'm gonna do with all of these bundles, is tie a second ponytail holder or rubber band just a little bit below, okay? Make sure both of these are tight. The positioning of this one doesn't have to matter as much. I would say about an inch or so below your first one. Your first one is your cut point though. I'm cutting right below this rubber band right here, okay? Okay, now let's go. First cut, okay? So I'm cutting right below the 
Let me make sure this is where I can see. Okay, right below the first rubber band, okay? First one down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. Okay. First bundle down. A whole lot more to go. <laughs> my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. Okay, next. I'm gonna take down this big fat bun and get the next layer down. Okay, and I'm just gonna do all of these in this back section similarly. Got this one there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull it down till it's about on top of where I've got this other rubber band, okay? And I'm gonna leave this one here for now as a reference, okay? So, yep. Okay, I think that's good. Next cut, okay? Gosh, you guys, my hair, it's gone. Okay, I'm gonna take out the one underneath, kind of let that hair go for now, and then go to the next layer. Number three, down. And actually, this is so far at the top that I might wanna do it with the front section. You think I should do that? Okay, so I just decided to take that top section and go ahead and split it uh, on back the middle to come back with this front portion. Cause I just feel like it naturally falls more this way anyhow. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so now what I wanna do for this portion, cause again, I explained earlier, I wanna do more of an A-line. So I want to kind of start, so I've got this underneath area, and you guys wanna just go ahead and take out the other little ponies from the back that were holding everything in place. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna get to all that later. But for now, we're gonna move on, okay? And so I've got this section here that's kind of pulling to the front, right? Okay, so I'm gonna work from that point. I'm gonna brush the hair down and then I'm gonna place a pony. So I'm actually gonna take this section and kind of pull it back, okay? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put on this pony, okay? And then I'm gonna pull it back here and figure out about where. These longer layers are back here. Yeah, that's too long. Um, because what's gonna happen, I'm gonna pull this back to about my shoulder, so right here. And that's where I'm gonna put the ponytail in, uh, but like where the longest portion up here is right here, okay? I'm gonna pull it to about there. And that way when this falls forward, this front piece you see will be longer, okay, than the back. And it'll help taper this whole top section to where it kinda comes forward. She is, little front section. Okay, now this other girl, take care of her.
there we go. Okay, it is all gone. The length is all gone, you guys. I got five bundles here, five good bundles. <gasps> this is my hair. It's all gone. It smells nice. I just washed it fresh today. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you're going to donate your hair, make sure to wash it fresh and let it dry completely before you ship it out. So that's what I did today. I just washed it and let it all dry naturally. So Gosh, you guys, it's all gone. <laughs> what in the heck? Oh, I'm still in disbelief. Okay, let's take all this out and see how she is. Cute, she's cute. Wow, hey. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's cute. She's cute. She's doing it. Okay. So now I've got the length off. I've got my bundles that I'm gonna send away. And now I'm gonna actually work on getting the style exactly the way I want it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so see, here's some parts that we're gonna wanna trim up, okay? So those are some, I'm sure, from that top layer that we talked about. So I'm gonna get all of that trimmed up in just a little bit. So now I can definitely tell that this side is shorter, right, than this side over here. So now I'm gonna to have to handle that. So what I'm gonna do first, I believe, is get the majority of my hair out of the way and start with just like a low layer. Okay, oh my gosh. Look at this, you remember a minute ago when I was throwing up a big mess? Oh my gosh, she's gone. She's gone, you guys. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take all of this back. And you guys might think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna do the ponytail thing again, okay? Because now I don't have to worry about like saving it for anything or anyone. Okay, and take the clippers and just kind of Clip it straight at the bottom of the band. Woo! Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh good, now my back is covered in here. Wonderful, okay, let's see how that did. Oh yeah, we like her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they have a body holder. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes and yes. Yes and yes and yes. Okay. Let's do the next layer. Okay. Now making sure I got these guys in the front here. I'm just gonna do the rest. Kind of just how like I did that other one a second ago, that underneath layer. Except I'm just gonna do it a tad bit longer. Okay. So I'm gonna pull it to where that underneath layer kind of falls out. And then cut from there. That turned out okay. We're about to see. You guys, yes. Okay, just, just yes. Yes, I love it. I'm about all of it. Oh my gosh, yes! Uh, so cute. 
It's so cute. It is so different, but so cute. So now I just need to soften all the edges. Okay, and I'm just gonna start taking all the sections. I'm not really gonna do this front section yet, but I'm starting with the back. And I'm just gonna kind of texturize it at the bottoms, okay? Just a little bit, not a whole, whole lot. Cause I want it to obviously stay the length that it is and everything. And like I said, I don't want a lot of like layers or anything like that. I just really want a soft like edge to the ends. So I'm gonna kind of take it straight down. Okay, and then like that okay so I'm just gonna do that kind of all around and then we'll come back okay Okay, what do you guys think? <gasps> I can't believe it, kind of, but also I can, obviously, because it's there, or it's not there, actually. <gasps> but I feel really good about it. I feel good about the results. I feel like everything looks good. I'm probably gonna shake it around a bit and find other like pieces that I feel like don't fit in with where they're at and then take care of those at the time but yeah i mean for now i feel like it looks really good what do you think you guys let me know give me some feedback and i'm probably because i can't fully see the back you guys can probably tell me uh in the comments and stuff that i've got some stuff missed in the back but i'm gonna have aaron um or i'll go and have my mom double check the back and make sure i look good but honestly you probably won't notice because most of the time I don't necessarily wear my hair straight. Uh, I normally wear it like this. What do you guys think? Oh, I just think, wow. Oh, MG. Nice think about the back. Cute, right? Cute. It's so bouncy, voluminous. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Wow. And I can do a lot of different things. Like, of course, I can bring it back and do a center part. Oh! Oh, say hi to my kitty. This is my new kitty, Ellie. She just jumped up here where my hot curling iron was, and that's why I grabbed her. So. Okay, here's more middle, kind of. And I could do it straight too, like what you guys saw earlier, or I could let it just be natural. I like the side part a lot with this length and this cut. You know, what do you think? 
I hope you guys liked this video. Please let me know if you did. Give me a thumbs up. You know what to do. If you didn't like it, well, that's okay too. But <laughs> just let me know. Give me some feedback. This has been a roller coaster. It has been an emotional roller coaster. It's been crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ellie would love it. Hit the bell so that you see when I upload new videos. See you guys next time. Bye.